Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about vital sex and tantric sex. And the topic for this video is five steps to boost your erotic power. The word erotic comes from Eros, which is the Greek god of love, sex and pleasure. Take a minute to explore in your past a moment where you felt erotic, where you felt like your sexual energy was powerful, was embodying itself inside of you. How did that feel? What triggered it? Why is it that suddenly you were taken into this space of erotic power and an erotic energy inside of you. Did that make you feel good? Did you feel dangerous? Did you feel that you could achieve anything you wanted? Erotic power is an energy reality that you can enter into. It's something that you embody. I'm going to give you a few hints about how to trigger that. And if right now inside of you you're like, Oh my God, I would rather not play with erotic energy. It's uh, a territory that is a bit scary to me, you know? I mean, if you feel like that, if you feel like there is a fear about it, think about why that fear is there. Imagine that you are about to ride a wild stallion, that there is this immense power and that your job is to jump on this horse and start riding it, taming it. There is this power of nature which is ready to be unleashed and you're about to take the step and move forward into creating this powerful merging of energy between you and the wildest aspects of your nature. Erotic energy is powerful and it is an aspect of your being. So the way we learn how to deal with it in society very often is to suppress it. We keep it away because we are a bit afraid of it. It's like this shadow, dark aspect of our being that we don't dare to explore because we are afraid of tapping into our own power. The thing is that if you engage into erotic mastery, sexual mastery, with a clear sense of what you are doing, some direction and some simple steps that keep it safe. And you will find ways of activating that energy from a safe place. You don't need to lose yourself in your erotic power. You don't need to feel threatened by it. You can cultivate it, play with it, direct it, activate it at will. This is the idea. So how does it work? How do you activate erotic energy? I mean, you could put pictures of Eros in your room, cover your room with sexual symbols, sexual scenes, you know, activate the relationship that you have with your sex life. That would be a possibility. But here are other tips. The first one, the first tip, is master your inner game. Master the relationship that you have with your sexual energy. If it wasn't for sex, you would not be on this planet. This is how you were conceived. Sex is secret. It is a miracle. It's one of the most incredible gifts that were given to us. So, here is an affirmation I want you to practice. I love sex. I want more sex in my life. 
I am erotic, I am a sexual being. The moment you start practicing these affirmations, getting familiar with using them, for instance, next time you have a conversation with some friends, try saying that to them. I love sex. You know, maybe if you are in an environment where people are kind of progressive and used to this kind of conversation, they will say, oh, great, good on you. Or they might go like, well, I'm feel, feeling really uncomfortable with what you just said. Why, why do you say that? <laughs> so check it out. Check it internally. This is the inner game. What is your relationship with this concept, with this energy? How do you relate to it? And if you feel uncomfortable with the idea of you being a sexual being, then start practicing that on the mind level. I am sexual. I love my, my sexual energy. Sexual energy is sacred. I cultivate my sexual energy. I am a sexual being. I love sex. If you love sex, sex loves you back. If you don't like sex, sex doesn't like you back. Think about it. That's the way it works. You attract by loving it. The second tip for you to become a more erotic person is to, uh, to connect. To connect with people, engage. And you have different ways of engaging. You can engage with love and respect and kindness and softness. Or you can engage with shadows, you know, with challenge, with aspects that are a little bit more, you know, darker, like sexual manipulation. But depending on the context, sometimes uh, engaging your shadows is going to be appropriate teasing somebody or challenging them or dominating them even within a sexual context can be something that triggers passion and fire in a very intense ways. So play with that and of course it must be consent consensual but the idea is that you connect, you find ways of activating your sexual and erotic fire and then engaging in the connections that you have in life with, uh, with your friends or with, uh, with your lovers. The third tip, practice, I am sexy. Bring that in the core of your being. And the way you practice it, look at the choices of clothes. What are you wearing? How high does it score in terms of sexiness? Does it look erotic? Does it look slutty or vulgar? Is it refined? So here is a confusion that very often we have. We might think that being erotic or being sexy means being slutty or vulgar. It's different. You can be sexy and erotic and be extremely refined in what you wear. So don't get mixed with those two elements or those two aspects. Another way to manifest your erotic energy is through your attitude. Check your body language. Check the tone of your voice. For instance, if I'm, uh, you know, just relaxed, hey, that's not erotic, right? The moment you bring presence and you make eye contact and there is a, a certain form of strength and ownership of my energy, then suddenly that becomes erotic. I'm sure you can do better than what I'm doing as well. But look, suddenly I slow down, I change my posture, I change my the direction of the way I look at you, and then suddenly it becomes erotic. So the sexual or erotic energy is engaged. So attitude, tone of voice. Hi, uh, how are you doing? Yeah, no, it's like not anchor at all. The moment you want to become erotic is you add warmth to your voice. Slow down, warmth, sensuality, pleasure, engage, play with moods, with the sound of your voice. See, it becomes sensual, it can become erotic. You can decide what you, what you want to engage. 
another tip, very powerful tip, to become a more erotic person is to become more vital, more alive. If you are in good shape, you are training, you are activating, your body is full of energy, your mind is boosting with energy, you are going to appear as way more erotic than if you are tired, exhausted after a day of work and you have no energy left. That doesn't look usually erotic. If you want to be more erotic, make sure that you are taking good care of your body. You know, go and get a massage every now and then, go train, activate, have a juicy sex life. Uh, make sure that you are well rested, that um, you're in a space where, which is really exciting for the people. Uh, so that when you're in their presence, they feel really activated by your presence. Wow, you know, this woman or this guy has so much energy and power. It's just an uplifting experience just to be in their presence. Okay, that's the idea. Another way to become a more erotic person is to play. Play with sexual energy. There is a term in Sanskrit which is vilasa. Vilasa means play. So I use the, the expression kama vilasa, which is sexual play, sexual activation, sexual play. So sexual play means that you're comfortable with the idea of bringing sexual energy in your social interactions. Think about the way you greet somebody. Hi, or is it a warm hug when you give a kiss to somebody on the cheek? Is it sensual? Is it touching? Is it erotic? Or is it just a cold, mm. hi, you know? Or is it something that dives into, you whisper something sensual in the person's ear as you are giving them a kiss? This is that. It's Kama Vilasa. And uh, when you start embodying your erotic power, you start engaging with this quality of sexual play much more frequently. So here are these points to summarize. I love sex, you know, practice this mindset, this inner game, connect with those around you, work on your appearance and attitude, practice being I am sexy, bring in vitality in your life, more vitality, more energy, and uh, play, kama vilasa. When have fun with that. <laughs>